Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. I yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? N no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh... That's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. Probably a spoiler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri has been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri pushes her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Orion, did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. N no nothing <sighs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. We, yeah, she's actually not here. Yeah, Monika, I guess. Yep. I should start with Monika. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Ryan. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. 
Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring. bring of course, I'll, of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryan. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. I couldn't really get as creative this time. Uh, just grief, agonizing death philosophy, frightening, melancholy, disaster, secretive eternity, hopeless tragedy, pain, massacre, fester, vertigo, fear, horror, shame, contamination, explode. Mm-hmm. Great job. <laughs> Great job, Orion. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's, it's e easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> Easiest. <laughs> <laughs> No, you weren't. Don't talk down to me, Monica. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. I'm beyond being patronized! <laughs> uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really... Oh, did he? Star for social interaction, so I don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Uh, all right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. The same thing. Hole in the wall. So sometimes they are mostly the same and then change at some point. So... It's on the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned out eyes could no longer see color. Are there... It might oh, be... Oh yeah, this is different. Yeah, it's different. But my burn, but my burnt eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking, or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. That's rule number one of life. If you aren't confident, fake it until you make it, Brute says. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. 
An epiphany? Yeah, something <clears throat> like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a certain point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, Nasuki? Yeah, let's get her out of the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was you. Sorry. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. Uh. I don't know if that's a random event or what, but that was a thing. Roots also, and and my. My, I don't know if you can see it, Gallif, but my cursor keeps doing the loading thing. So, I can't see it, no. So I'm afraid it's like putting things in my <laughs> install thing. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna look at it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a random event, then. Orion, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. Oh, I did see your cursor randomly doing the loading thing uh, all throughout the regular run, though, too. Oh, okay. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a. Oh. I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. I'm like all. weirded <laughs> out. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <gasps> painful to think about? Painful. painful to think about? Oh. Sorry. That's okay. Fine. It, it gets weirder if that makes it any worse or better. <laughs> well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway. I guess I gotta go share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. I think this is the same thing. Yep, it's exactly the same. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at, at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. <laughs> you know what else is easy to read but hits me hard? This bullshit. <laughs> so, so you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Uh, Yuri. Yuri. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh? What was that? Hmm? D did I just say- did I say that out loud? 
Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Ugh. He's going to hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fit the two together. The end result is that, they bo that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. We didn't digest that very well before, but I think the idea is that, you know, if you don't pick your writing style based on the topic, you just have a style that you stick with no matter what, then like, say, uh, you have a certain style and you write a very cute, fluffy, light type of story, but you apply that exact same style of writing to a horror story. Mm -hmm. Gets kind of weird. Gets kind of weird. Yep. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost Under the Lights. I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's interesting only Monika's poem was different. Yeah, I don't think hers are the only ones that can change, but I don't... I don't know if they ever changed as drastically as hers usually did. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Ryan. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. 
But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. Also, I just remembered something, I don't know why it just occurred to me, but remember when your save files were still there right before they got erased? Mm-hmm. Uh, if... I think I just re recalled something I read somewhere and, like, you could have tried to load it, but it would have just basically been, like, file is corrupted, or something to that effect. Mm. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. That's all right, Brute. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Orion. Ah. Me too. Phew. I guess that's everyone. It's back. Yes, it is. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. The music is also going kind of weird. Yeah. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? No, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something to, nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Uh, um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monika liked it. And Orion did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. It's cute because you wrote it cute, you half pint of vitriol. <laughs> I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Orion liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, eh? Th that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Orion appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh, snap. <laughs> well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Orion started showing up. N Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Taking out your own securities on... Oh, 
taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Nasuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy bitch! Edgy! Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point! Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to... Oh gosh. <laughs> if you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. If you think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute... The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? D did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the... Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Is wrong with your head? <laughs> yeah, go on. Let her hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, uh... Suddenly, Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Orion, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh... But whoever I choose will probably think more highly of me or something to that effect. So, Yuri? Sure. I can't save, so... Whoa. It's not letting me... Um... <laughs> Should I do Natsuki? <laughs> sure! Nope! Hi? Hi? You're in front of the text box, Monica. Um, hey, Ryan. Why don't we step outside for a bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably f better for us to stay out of this. It's almost like it would have been nice if there was someone to break them up and make them both feel better. Mm-hmm. Go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. Bruce says, um... Oh, which which line did you love? Oh, the the boob line. Yeah. No, no, shit's getting real. Shit's getting real. <laughs> it's almost. It almost feels like there's another person that should be here to balance everything out. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. <laughs> she suddenly runs away. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Ryan, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. 
Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Orion. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I really don't have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. <gasps> hmm? Okay. What just happened? It, it just kind of skipped the scene and went straight to poem time? Okay. Okay. Hee hee. From fruit. <laughs> okay, I think we'll make this poem and then I'm gonna go to bed. If I can try to sleep. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, so, um... I mean, it goes straight into the next scene, though, so do you want to just make the poem next time, too, or...? Yeah, I mean, we just saved... Whoa. Did you see that? Yeah, I think it was Monica? Like... Yeah. That was random? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just save and do more later. Okay! Anyway, hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, we'll do more of this soon. Things are getting weird. Yep, things are getting really weird. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, yeah.